Have you ever been running or hiking? Felt like someone or something was following you? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For us, those that are outdoorsy type people and active, many times we're alone and that makes us a target for being mugged or bitten by a dog, attacked maybe by various wild animals such as you know, squirrels, grizzlies, cougars, insert whatever animal here. So today I've got a question, should we be carrying some type of defensive weapon? And I know that part of this video will probably start a little fire under some people's hind end, but I think it needs to be asked. Um, so I'm not advocating that you carry a gun or any other weapon for that matter. I'm definitely not an expert in any area of weapons. Uh, I am a, a gun guy, and, but I'm not one that's got a gun on every wall of my house, uh, at least not every wall. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I was, was in the army and I did a lot of uh, uh, shooting then. That was many years ago. I do have some guns now. And, uh, but anyway, this is not a video about guns. I don't want it to be about guns. I just want it to be about the question of should we be protecting ourselves when we're out, or well, should we be protecting ourselves anyway, or anywhere? But the question is, should we be carrying something while we're out hiking uh, or running? So let's, let's talk about the negative sides first, and then we'll go over to the positive sides. And these are some of the top negative points that I thought of um, you know you could so let's say you're carrying a a gun or a knife you know you can you could really do some harm to yourself with a knife you could stab yourself with a gun you may be running or hiking and somehow accidentally shoot yourself or worse someone else um, you know you could you could pull the the gun out uh, in self-defense of you know against another person or against an animal and be clueless on what to do you could be carrying a gun and someone sees it and then they start screaming he or she's got a gun um, i guess if you're out in the woods it wouldn't matter too much if they scream but um you know you, you don't want to be in that situation and you know the other thing i thought of is you might be running and you drop it and you don't realize it and then someone you know god forbid a criminal but somebody picks it up and then uses it to hurt someone else and, and then finally the last thing i thought of was you may end up with a false sense of security and you think well i've got a gun now i'm superman and nothing can hurt me but now that I've convinced you to not carry again, let's talk about maybe a positive side to carrying um, a weapon. Let's say that you're, you know, like there's places where I live here, I can be out around Mount Hood or Mount St. Helens or somewhere and a long ways from any help. And we have cougars here and bear Thankfully, no grizzlies, but nevertheless, there are, there are animals out here that can eat me. So, you know, um, let's say that I encounter a cougar and it decides that I'm lunch. I could pull the pistol out and fire a warning shot. And hopefully that cougar would take off. Um, I could pull out bear spray and maybe spray the cougar and it takes off. 
Same thing goes for a bear. A knife, eh, not so much. Um, I would much rather have a pistol or a bear spray <laughs> over a knife because the knife means that I'm gonna have to get really close to use it and yeah, I don't even wanna go there. And if you're, you know, if you, you don't run in the woods, you're out in the city and someone starts to mug you, you, you know, you start to pull out your pistol to protect yourself and they see it, more than likely they're gonna run screaming back to mommy. Um, and the same thing goes for bear spray. You know, even if you live in, you live in the city or you run in the city only, you could carry bear spray and, and, and use it. You know, there's a lot of things you gotta be concerned with with bear spray. And uh, one of those is the wind direction. Hopefully the wind's not blowing back in, in your direction. So a lot of these points I just brought up, it depends on where you live. Um, I thought someone was following me. Uh, you know, it depends on where you live. If you live on the East Coast, you probably don't have to worry about mountain lions. If you live in Montana or Idaho, some parts of Idaho or Wyoming, you gotta worry about grizzlies um, and mountain lions and black bear so here in Oregon we have mountain lions and we have black bear um, you know most of the time with a black bear you don't need a weapon um, not you know, see you last year um, I came across a black bear I was running up the trail and Heard something come down the hill and looked, and right there was was a black bear. And I just yelled, hey bear. And it bolted back up the hill and was tearing trees down. I mean, it scared scared the daylights out of it. So um, I think that personally, carrying a weapon would be, you know, probably one in a million that you would actually need it. So I'm the type of person that I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Yeah, it makes me think about the two guys that were mountain biking up near Seattle a couple years ago and a cougar came up on them. You, you may already know the story, but um, from my understanding, they didn't have bear spray or um, any type of weapon just their bikes and you know you can always do Monday morning quarterbacking but it just makes me wonder if they would have had bear spray or a pistol of some type would that have turned out differently um, so let's talk about if you decide to carry bear spray or you decide to carry a pistol or a knife. Um, what's your plan? Are you just gonna start carrying a pistol? I don't think so. <laughs> I think you need to get some training first. Yeah, you definitely need to get some training. You need to check your local walls. Um, you need to find out if your state or your jurisdiction requires you to have some type of um, concealed carry uh, permit um, and that's kind of you know the whole whether you should carry concealed or whether you should carry openly it's a you know kind of a big debate I guess but um, my opinion is you should con conceal it if you're going to carry and uh, because if, if you're carrying openly, you just open you you open yourself up for a lot of issues, such as uh, somebody taking your weapon um, and using it against you, or someone seeing it, like I mentioned before, and screaming, "He or she's got a gun." You don't want that. Um, uh, I carry a a knife with me. Um, not so much 
for protection, but just for general use. And um, I don't know if you can see it here. It's just a little bitty thing. And um, let me set the camera up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what I carry is called a, a, a cricket knife. And it's just a little tiny um, knife that, you know, if I need to cut something, um, hopefully not somebody <laughs> or an animal, but, you know, if I need to cut rope or um, stick, whatever, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just carry it. Um, I carry it more often than I don't. Um, but it's, you know, it's just real small. It, it easily just fits in my vest pocket. Um, usually in races, I don't carry it, but um, when I'm out in the woods or wherever, usually um, by myself, I carry it. Um, and uh, sometimes I carry bear spray. And um, when I carry it, I carry it up here, um, just like I do a water bottle. But here, I'll, I'll get it out and show you what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can lay it here without dropping it, actually. I'll put it down there. I guess I could have been a little more prepared, but um, I'll just snap this top one back. Let me get my, my phone out of here. My gel. So, so the bear spray, it's, I've got it in this little um, holster, but I usually don't wear the, I usually don't wear the holster because uh, I usually don't have a belt. But the bear spray, you can just. Here, I've got a I've got food down here. Let me get that out. So the the bear spray, you can just carry it like that, and then if you need it, you can just pop that off and then spray. I'm not going to demonstrate because I don't want to waste my bear spray. Um, but I recommend that if you are going to carry bear spray, that you keep it in your front pocket. If you've got it in the back or somewhere or in a backpack or something like that it's it's useless so you need to be able to access it really quickly um, and then um, like I said if you're um, if you're going to carry a gun a pistol you're not going to just up and start carrying you need to get training um, even with bear spray you should get some kind of training or, or practice it yourself um, and then but if you are going to carry a pistol make sure you get uh, actual handgun training if you're not already trained and also um, check your laws if you have to have a permit to carry like I said I recommend carrying concealed and if you are going to carry um, I recommend that you do something like this let me show you this this is a let me back up this is a belly band holster and I'm not gonna I don't have a gun in it because I don't want this to necessarily be a gun video but um, your pistol goes in here and then this thing just wraps around your waist like this and it's velcro and then your pistol goes in here and then you can um, adjust this thing wherever you need it well that should give you some things to think about and um, I'm not gonna say whether I carry a, a pistol on me um, because I don't think that anyone needs to know that. Um, you know, I carry, like I said, I carry a knife and bear spray. Um, I just, I didn't want this to be a gun video. I don't want it to be necessarily a debate. So I would like for, I say fur, I would like, I was thinking about ferns. Um, I would like for everyone to comment and keep it clean, please. Uh, family friendly and please don't let it be a debate just I'd like to know your thoughts on the topic um, you know uh, bear spray knife uh, even a gun uh, tell me what you think in the next video we'll talk about should you carry first aid kit
See y'all later.